there's something special about planting a tree. It's natural, healthy, an oasis. We all need the sanctuary of shade for rest, play and community. I'm Edwina Robinson, landscape architect and founder of The Climate Factory, a social enterprise on a mission that's local, tangible and practical. Canberra's summers are getting hotter and drier. Recent summers in Australia have been extreme, to say the least. With concrete buildings, shopping centres and bitumen roads, urban areas can be up to eight degrees hotter than the surrounding countryside. We don't want our city to become barren and hostile to outdoor living, alone, locked away at home, school or work with the aircon blazing. I sit in an air-conditioned office the whole day and as soon as I come out of the office, you're in this sweltering heat and you go in the car and immediately I crank up the AC. It's just been getting hotter and hotter every summer. I think last summer we had two or three days that were 40 plus in a row. And I think this summer itself we had the hottest day on record for Canberra in 43.6 degrees or something. The isolation of a hot, dry landscape erodes our community and deprives us of a space we can all enjoy and share. The space we need for friendships, family and a sense of belonging. Heat waves are getting worse in Australia and here in Canberra. And one thing we can do about that is look at how we manage our urban environment. So there's lots of things we can be doing at the street or suburb level that can help us deal with those heat waves in the future as they become more severe and more frequent. And part of that is how we manage vegetation and things like these beautiful microforests. A recent study by the CSIRO produced a heat map of Canberra's suburbs. People who can't afford to cool their homes are the most vulnerable. Many low-income households have poor quality housing and low thermal performance. And often, low-income households are found in some of the hottest parts of the city. Uh, more extreme and more frequent heat has a real impact on our health and the way we go about our daily lives. Uh, we know that lots of people are vulnerable to heat waves, people who are a bit older, very young children, pregnant women or women who are breastfeeding, they're all really vulnerable to this extreme heat. And it also impacts our ability to enjoy our city and our environment. When it's too hot, we just can't get outside, our kids can't get outside and play. And that's one of the things that in Canberra we really love is we have all these green spaces and beautiful playgrounds to spend time in and connect with each other. We know that the very young and the very old are more vulnerable to heat stress. In Australia, heat waves kill more people than any other natural disasters. And in extreme heat, people with specific medical conditions can be in real danger. So we know in big cities that it gets hotter where we have lots of uh, buildings, lots of concrete, uh, lots of built environment. So that's why having green spaces, things like microforest, is so important for taking the heat out of that city environment. For many, the problems seem too big to fix and waiting for government to come up with grand solutions ignores what we can do in our neighbourhoods right here and right now. That's why we've started our microforest initiative. And it's not just for the privileged few. I thought it sounded like a great initiative to get some greenery into to Canberra. It's meant to be the bush capital, but we're often looking for places to, to play with the little ones that's you know out of the sun and got some bird life and, and some frogs and things that I can show the kids. If you're a school, community group, organisation or just a neighbourhood with a bare patch of dirt, let's turn it into a mini oasis. You don't need horticultural or landscaping expertise. We'll match your desire to do something meaningful with our know-how and experience on projects like the Urban Wetlands in Banksia Street, O'Connor and the Birdscaping Canberra Initiative. The next step is our pilot project, a microforest here in Downer. We've already begun community consultation and raised over $20,000 to kick things off. But this is just the start. We want to open up these opportunities, not just for community groups who want a mini oasis, but also for sponsors keen to help areas of social disadvantage, increase childhood activity, or promote the educational, biological, health and wellbeing aspects of this venture. You know, I want to leave my kids a Canberra where they can play in parks and there's trees and they're able to go outside. 
I think Canberra's a great city, but I want to make sure it's livable. You can shrug your shoulders, do nothing and hope for the best, or together can do something amazing. I'm Edwina Robinson and this is The Climate Factory.